Are you tired of reading endless pages of documentation just to figure out the difference between AWS services? Or maybe you're studying for a certification and want to understand how Amazon RDS differs from Aurora. Now, AWS has over 200 services, so choosing the right one can feel overwhelming. And if you're working with Azure or Google Cloud, it doesn't really get much easier. There are so many cloud tools these days that seem to overlap, and it's not always obvious which one is the best fit for your application. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to build something to help you address this issue, a cloud services comparison tool that lets you search and compare services side by side. We'll compare the options across compute, storage, databases, and so on, so that you can learn faster and make more informed decisions. Normally, this kind of app idea would take hours of setup and research, but today we're going to aim to complete it in just under 30 minutes. In fact, I'm also going to show you how to deploy the application into production so that we're not just building a toy app. Now, to do this, I'm going to introduce you to a very powerful tool called WAP. If you haven't heard of WAP before, it's an agentic development environment that lets you run multiple agents in parallel. All my developer friends know about it, and fun fact, it's actively being used by over half a million engineers at leading companies. All right, I'm going to break this video into three parts. First, I'll walk you through the initial setup and how you can install WAP onto your computer. Secondly, I'll show you the exact steps to build a cloud services comparison tool. Instead of flipping through AWS documentation or searching endlessly on Google, you'll be able to type in a service name and it's instant going to compare its features with other services. And third, we're going to push it to production so that you can proudly share your project with friends and co-workers. And I mean, it's just going to be a pretty cool project to build. You get to learn about cloud as well as AI and how you can bring the two together. Let's get into it. Starting off with the initial setup, head to the link in the description below to download WAP. Select the installer for your operating system, so Mac, Linux, or Windows. And while that installs, let me share with you why I'd recommend using WAP for your technical projects. It's ranked number one on Terminal Bench, and 71% on SWE Bench Verified, scoring higher than Claude Code on coding benchmarks. Next, it has the best user experience for coding. Warp combines everything into a unified developer workbench, so coding, AI agents, and CLI tools all in one place. You'll see this in action during the demo. And thirdly, you get flexibility. Unlike Claude Code, Warp isn't limited to just the terminal. And unlike tools like Cursor, it works across the entire development lifecycle. This is great for our project today because we need a real tool to bring our application to production. Okay, so now Warp has finished downloading. You can see that you can install, write code, deploy, or do something else. What I'm going to do now is just to create a simple directory. So I'm going to ls to see where I am, and then I'm going to change directory into documents. So far, you can see that I've just typed in simple command line prompts, but what I can do is type in plain English, create a new project called cloud service comparison. I'm going to click on enter, and you can see it thinks for a bit, and then it generates this command, which is to make a directory called cloud service comparison. Now this completely changes the game when it comes to coding. I no longer have to type in command line prompts. I can just write what I want it to do. So here I'm going to click run and it's going to make me the directory. Ooh, okay, so without me asking, it's also suggested creating a readme doc. I'm actually going to click on cancel for now so that I can type in a proper prompt of what I want for the project. By the way, a few features I want to point out is that right now it's on auto detection mode, but I can actually switch between agent and shell depending on if I want to run commands or if I want to type in plain text. There's also a voice input mode, which I'm going to experiment with later. You can also attach an image if you want to provide an example of what you want your application to look like. And over here, you can select from a lot of popular models. There's Gemini, Claude, GPT-5, and so on. So you can choose the one you prefer. But before we dive into the code, let's get a clear idea of what we're trying to build here. A cloud comparison tool that has the following. A clear responsive web interface, side-by-side -side comparison of AWS services, being able to highlight features and use cases of the services, and categorization by service type. Coming back to the warp environment, we're now going to get started with our project. So here's the prompt I'm going to enter. Create a full stack web app for comparing AWS services. Use React with TypeScript for the front end and a Python backend API that returns AWS service data with categories, key features, and pricing notes. Now, here I'm choosing to be quite specific in that I specified the tooling and the technologies, but what you can do is just type in something super general, like I want to build a web app for comparing AWS services. And what WAP's gonna do is recommend what you should use to build it out. All right, let me press enter and see what happens. Cool, okay, so you can see that it's talking to me quite conversationally and it's saying that it's a complex task so that it requires several steps. 
you can see that immediately it's come up with a to-do list, which usually is something that would take me like just an hour to plan out. So the first step is to create the project structure and then create the Python fast API backend, create some sample AWS data, set up the front end components, API integration, the design and so on. So this seems like quite a complete list of tasks. And now I'm going to click run. I'm going to allow it to start making the documents. Okay, so now I'm pretty much just sitting back and letting it do its magic. After every few steps, you'll see that it pauses to ask me for permission to do something. So in this case, run the command and read the output. So I'm going to click on run. There's actually a really cool feature in WAP where I don't have to manage anything. And let me show you how to do that. So let's go on to settings, click on AI, and we can actually change some of the permissions. So you can see here that apply code diffs is on always ask. I can put it on always allow. Read files, always allow. And you know, create plans, execute commands. This I put on agent decides. So depending on the level of autonomy you want to provide to your agent, this is something you can definitely customize. By the way, every time it makes an update to a document, you can see the exact changes and the code difference. Now, while the project is running, we can actually perform a concurrent task. So this will make use of the multi-agent feature. I'm going to ask Warp, what is the best way to deploy my full stack web application? Cool, so what it's doing here is examining my application and then providing some deployment options. The first recommendation is a cloud platform deployment. So we're going to try out using Vercel later to deploy our application. Having multiple agents is actually quite helpful and you can actually just switch between the tabs easily. All right, so now the application has been built. Our next step is to run it. So here's a nice summary of the project. It's listed out what's in the back end, what's in the front end, uh, the key features, as well as the complete documentation. Now to run my project, I'll have to start both the back end and front end. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so CD back end. And now I'm going to install the front end. Amazing. Okay, so I've gone onto localhost 3000 and here's my AWS service comparison tool. Now what it's come up with is 10 AWS services, its key features, the pricing models, and also when it was launched. Up the top here, I can filter the services by category. So these are the compute services, uh, networking services, and so on. So let's test the comparison feature. I'm going to compare EC2 with, let's say, a service like AWS Lambda. Okay, show comparison. Cool, it shows that it's in the same category when it was launched. Both of them are in the free tier. As we know, EC2 is more for development, testing, web apps, whereas Lambda is more for real-time file processing, IoT backends, data transformation, and so on. You can also view the documentation. So if I click onto docs, you'll see that it links to the EC2 documentation. Nice, so everything was built without any mistakes. But let's say I want to make a change to the application. I can reprompt the AI to give me what I want. In my case, I want to change the theme of the application into dark mode. Nice, dark mode conversion complete. And there you go, my application in dark mode. All right, the final step is to deploy our application and push it to production. Earlier, we decided to use Vercel, so let me prompt Warp to deploy the application onto Vercel. So all you have to do is follow through their steps. Cool, so I'm going to put the project into my Vercel folder. Perfect, so here's our application deployed onto Vercel. Both the front end and the back end are deployed to production and you're ready to share this link to anyone you'd like. If you want to try out Warp for yourself, they're currently running a limited time promotion where you can get their premium Warp Pro plan for only $1 in your first month using my code Lucy. All right, this brings us to the end of this video. Let me know in the comments below if you end up building the project and if you'd like to see more Build With Me videos just like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.